Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to another channel update video. Uh, if the video looks different, hopefully you can't tell. I still have my lighting and my mic set up, but my, uh, my Canon 70D actually just stopped working. It's been giving me issues for the past couple months, and just completely stopped working. So I'm going to have to send it in, and hopefully it won't cost too much to fix, because that sucks a lot. But anyways, that aside, uh, I thought I'd do a channel update video for you guys, and I wanted to do one today because a lot of things have happened. Uh, both in my personal life, some channel updates that I want to talk to you guys about, and yeah, some some new things going on. So first thing is that I do plan on covering Dark Souls Remastered. If anyone is curious, just want to get that out of the way right now. I don't know to what extent, as I'm already happy with my lore videos, my Dark Souls 1 content that I made way back when I first started my channel, I don't really feel the need to remake that or retread over that ground necessarily, but there are a few videos that I have planned that I want to make. Not going to say what those are just in case something happens and I don't have time or I switch it up a little bit or anything, but just know that I do plan on making Dark Souls Remastered content, at least to some extent. So if you're looking forward to From Software content, hopefully you got something to tide you over until the new From Software game that we're still waiting to find out what it is. And for some people who've been wondering where my From Software content is, I just, I don't have anything to cover, I guess, and I want to cover all these other things. And I'm happy to cover From Software stuff when it comes out, but I'm not going to try to force it if I don't feel like I have anything to say or anything to add to the discussion. So that's that's part of why I haven't done much in a while. Plus, I like covering these other things. So that said, I, as far as other content goes, I'm working on a Shovel Knight Super Show. Uh, that's the next one coming out. And uh, Sega Genesis Chronicles of Gaming, and there'll be more Who Made videos and stuff like that as well. If you guys have never checked out that content, um, and you're still subscribed to me and, and watching this video, give it a shot. You might like one of those. You might not if you only subscribe for Dark Souls, but I, I don't know. Give it a shot. Um... Yeah, so that's that. Uh, another thing that I wanted to announce that I actually have a new channel, Dave Control Play, that I just started up a couple days ago. I, as I think from when I released this video, or a few days ago. It'll be daily Let's Play uploads, and there's a couple reasons I did this. So one is that I used to do Let's Plays on my channel for a while, and I've kind of slowed down doing that to the point where I'm basically not doing it at all. And the reason is that I feel like my content that I put out now, this what I'm call high quality content, the stuff that takes me 20 to 200 hours to make, uh, I feel like that's a different type of audience. And sometimes those audiences mix and merge, but it's a different type of content. And it's so different that I feel like I'd rather just have a separate channel for the Let's Play stuff. And that way I can do whatever game I want to do, release daily uploads, and I'm not going to bother anyone who doesn't want to see that from the main channel. And then I can, you know, just converge out and not just do from software content but do some of that but just do other games i want to play and have fun and for people who want to watch let's play stuff that's there and you can enjoy that um another reason i made that channel and i decided to finally do that is because i just don't have nearly as much time anymore to make content uh because of what i'm going to say in a moment and talk about but i thought that because of that if i make this let's play channel i actually hired an editor Scott O'Neill of Nook, uh, or Nook of Nook and Cranny Gaming. He's really good, really talented at editing. His channel's really good, and he's worked with me on other projects as well. And I figure, okay, if I put like a couple hours or a few hours into playing and doing the Let's Play and recording stuff for like once a week, I can hand it off to him. We can have some content for people to enjoy who want to enjoy that sort of stuff. And then I have regular uploads for people who want it, but it's not going to affect the stuff on the main channel. And because I'm not putting too much time into it, because at this point it's just a time thing, I can still focus all of my time and energy that I have on the main channel and on the main content. So I, Because I don't want to take away from working on the main content, as that's really important to me. The channel is really important to me. I love making these videos, and I really enjoy you know, uploading them and seeing how you guys react and hoping that you guys enjoy that stuff too. And I, I don't want to take any time away from that or the least amount of time that I can. So I thought that this would be the best way to do that, but also put out content for people who want regular content from me. And plus, honestly, it's just fun to play games that I want to play. So like my first game is Mega Man 2. And I like Mega Man so much. This is actually the first game I ever beat. But uh, one game I'm playing is Mega Man 2. And after that, I'm going to be starting Mega Man 3. Yeah, I love my Mega Mans. But, uh, so like, you know, I can put that out and play that, and people who enjoy that can watch it. And then also, my other game that I'm starting with is a From Software game, Eternal Ring, which I've never played before, so it's a blind let's play of Eternal Ring. Um, now that's out on PS4, I can play it on that and have a chance to actually experience a From Software game I've never experienced. So doing Eternal Ring, doing Mega Man 2, and then as soon as Mega Man 2's over, Mega Man 3, and there'll be other games too. So, 
Um, and I'll probably finish my Neo Let's Play as well. I'll put the rest of that on this new channel. For anyone who wants the final, it's going to be four episodes. The final four episodes of Neo will go on this channel. So there's that. So link will be at the end in the end card for Day of Control Play as well as in the description. So uh, yeah, check that out. Ch check it out if that's your sort of thing and you want to watch Let's Play content. And if not, cool. This channel will be staying the same. Same sort of content I've been putting out. The high quality stuff. Um... Not that less, there's anything wrong with Let's Plays. I like watching some Let's Plays. It's just a different type of content and takes a different amount of effort and time. So that said, the reason that I'm so busy is, and part of the reason I decided to make this channel is that I actually have two jobs now on top of doing my YouTube channel, on top of doing now the Let's Play channel. Um, so I'm just crazy busy with this stuff. And it was just a way for me to say like, okay, here's a way I can continually make content. So. Basically, I, I started working for GameSpot Universe about a month and a half to two months ago. Uh, maybe a month and a half at this point. But I make content for them regularly as a producer and a, I'm on camera for some videos. Not all the videos I do for them, but some videos I research and write. Do a lot of aspects of it. And yeah, so it's GameSpot Universe is different from GameSpot and that's the entertainment side of GameSpot Universe. So I actually don't cover video games for them. I cover entertainment and stuff like anime or Marvel movies and things like that. Um, I've got an anime slash uh, manga type of series that I'm, I'm might be doing with them pretty soon that I'm excited about. And I actually finished a video that I'm I really like that I'm proud of that I researched a lot. I wrote it. I I'm on it and I edited it and did all the aspects of it that you guys might enjoy, which is a history video on the history of video game films, specifically focusing on live action adaptations. And I wanted to kind of like chronicle the issues that have plagued them and what's what's gone on over time and. Um, how they both improved and dipped over time and hopefully there'll be a good one coming out but I thought it'd be an interesting video and I'm going to link it to it at the end in the end card but I thought it also might be one that you guys might enjoy as well as it's you know it's like a good crossover and I think it's interesting myself uh, so yeah and I do other content for them as well outside of just that one video so if you guys are interested check it out uh, outside of GameSpot Universe, I also am a host, and I've said this before, I think, for Upset Entertainment, but now it's called Nerdwire, where I do daily morning news videos for them about just, like, general nerdy stuff. Not necessarily video games. It's just really ge general. It's kind of whatever my producer gives me, honestly. But I also do some feature videos for them, and my Berserk one should have just gone out today, and I'm going to link it out in the end card, but that's what I'm really happy about that I'm proud of because I talk about why the Golden Age arc is so fucking awesome and why I love the Golden Age arc so much of Berserk. And I'm sure a lot of you guys watching are Berserk fans, so I think you guys might enjoy that Berserk video, that Berserk feature at least. And I do other anime features too. But and other features on other things, but the Berserk one specifically, I put a lot of time into uh, gathering all the assets and everything, making sure everything was, uh, I was happy with it and talking about the Golden Age arc and just something that I'm really passionate about. So I just thought that that might be one that you guys also might enjoy. And yeah, if you want to check out the other stuff too, go right ahead. But yeah, I think the Berserk one specifically and that video game film history one are ones that I was like, oh yeah, these are cool ones that I worked on and I put my time into that you guys would enjoy. But yeah, so my, my schedule is super slammed, as might be pretty obvious, as I had these two other things I'm doing on top of my channel, and I'm doing the Let's Play stuff now. But that's why I wanted to do the Let's Play channel, was to make it so, okay, I, I can do this stuff, not to put too much time into it, now I can hire an editor who can do some of the time-consuming aspect of it. Because it's not hard editing, per se, it's just, you know, time-consuming. Like, do editing it, exporting it, uploading it. So... I can have that aspect taken care of and then have content going out regularly and then also focus all of my extra time on making content for Dave Control. So like I just put out that Kingsfield lore video, obviously while I've been doing all these other things, uh, that Dark Souls uh, comedy, it's April Fool's joke video that some people actually thought was real, which blew my mind that people thought that was real. I, I don't know how you think that thing is real. It's, I try to make it so obvious that it's fake. Like, maybe the first, like, 10 seconds, it's like, ah, oh, is this real? I don't know. And it gets obvious immediately. Um, but, yeah, it's spoofing on Nintendo Switch commercials, which also some people didn't seem to get that that was the joke, was spoofing on Nintendo Switch commercials because Dark Souls and Nintendo Switch and the way they usually do their commercials are so different. Anyways, you're not supposed to explain the joke, and I just did. But whatever. Point is, I did those while doing all this other stuff as well. So I, I obviously am putting my time into making content here. And the Shovel Knight Super Show, I'm going to be excited about because I love Shovel Knight. I can't wait to talk about it with you guys. And i got a lot of, lot of other videos I want to make, like Sega Genesis Chronicles of Gaming, I said, and just other th content that 
I'm excited about and I want to make it so there'll, there'll definitely be stuff on this channel and definitely keeping up with this. So don't worry about that. Don't even worry yourself about that. But if you want to see more stuff I'm doing, check out GameSpot Universe, check out Nerdwire, check out Dave Control Play. Those are other options. But basically, that's everything going on with my life. Uh, that's why uploads have been a little bit slower recently, but I'm doing everything I can because I am nonstop busy. Crazy person, too. So, anyways, that is the channel update. And also, I gotta send this thing into the shop, apparently, which really sucks because... I don't know how long that'll take, but at least the Dark Souls Remastered stuff I plan isn't on camera, so don't know when I'm going to be end up like filming non-camera stuff for Shovel Knight, but it might end up being after Dark Souls Remastered, so. And I need this baby for that, because that is such a better camera than this phone camera, which looks okay from here, but I don't know how it looks in general, and just from all the other shots that I'll need. So, that said, thank you guys so much for watching this update video. I kind of rambled a lot through it, but had things to say. Why not? So, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time in another video on either one of those four places. Or, you know, follow me on Twitter or Instagram or all that if you want to keep up with me too. And as always, I really appreciate you guys all the time. Thank you so much for sticking with me through all this. And I, I hope you enjoy, and like the kind of shifting content that I've done. And I hope you guys just enjoy everything. And I, I really appreciate you sticking around. So, see you guys next time. Later, guys. Peace. So weird, filming on this thing. What? I should have done this angle the whole time because it looks way better, I think. It's like, you know, when you're, you're a girl doing the selfie shot and you're like, I gotta take it from up here because this is where everybody looks better. Oh wow, the light got really bright as it was adjusting because everyone looks better from this angle. That's, that's what this is.